Hey, I'm Skyler. And I'm Cassidy. We're with Cal TV Music. And we're interviewing the marching band. Let's go. Drop it. So I'm here with Daniel, a uh, drum major of Cal Band. Why did you want to be a drum major? I just really love the creativity and working with other people that it takes to create the shows that we march. You're majoring in drums, so what's your minor? Oh, my minor is uh, bending my back. I don't know. <laughs> Willie, what is this setup here? Well, these are the tenor drums. Um, and I see you have a cowbell down here too. Do you get jokes about that all the time? Way more than I wish. What is the most underrated band section? Clearly, the tenor drums. What's the biggest difference between the Stanford band and the Cal band? We're good. I'm here with Melody, uh, one of the flute players of the Cal marching band. But today, she has another instrument in her hand. What is that? This is a piccolo. It's a lot more high-pitched, and it's louder, so you can hear it better on the field. Which section of the band is the most annoying? <clears throat> All right, so there's three instruments in band that end with the word phone. There's the alto saxophone, the tenor saxophone, the mellophone. One of them decided that they should simply refer to themselves as the phones. That's the alto saxophones. They're the most annoying. Who is the most idiotic in the band? <laughs> it's the alto saxophones. Does, does everyone just hate them? Alan, what instrument do you play? I play the tenor saxophone. What's the difference between a tenor sax and a regular saxophone? So a regular saxophone, you probably mean an alto, which is just a little smaller, a little higher pitched. And some people would say that a clarinet is a poor man's saxophone. What, what do you think about that? I would say they're correct. Clarinet <laughs> means nothing when you're outside. Would it be possible to play your clarinet a little better? So I'm here with Jack. What songs are you performing at the Stanford game? The Stanford game, we were doing a Lady Gaga halftime show. We're doing a little poker face, a little telephone, a little bad romance. So if the entire band was stuck on an island, which section would die off first? Definitely the piccolos. They're not going to have those body fat reserves, and they're probably one of the least important, you know? So that's it right there. Uh, one of your other members said that the piccolos would be the first to die. What are your thoughts? I disagree because uh, there's a lot of women in our section and you know, when we get together we have some pretty cool ideas. Cool ideas how to die? No, cool ideas how to survive. Women, women pair? Yeah. <laughs> would you say the tuba is an oversized trumpet? I guess. It's something about playing the tuba that makes people shout at you while you're walking down the street and just go tuba. Are you a flautist or a flutist? Um, flautist sounds fancier so I think I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, but you don't say, I play the flout. No, you don't. That'd be weird. Yeah. So people are just like, I play the pickle. No. We just say pick. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I don't know. <laughs> What's the best part about being in the cow band? Oh my god, the community. I've been loving it the whole time, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Can you show me how to conduct in 4-4 four, four time? Oh, absolutely. That's pretty easy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Anyone can conduct a marching band. So I could apply? Absolutely. Sign up next year. Join Cal Band. 